Action News Now Storm Tracker Weather. Coverage you can count on. Welcome back. Happy Labor Day weekend to you, Chief Meteorologist Jason Stiff. These hot temperatures, I mean, they got to go. I'm done with this, man. Yeah, this is not only just unseasonably hot, it's dangerously hot yeah. in a lot, of, a lot of California, Northern California, Southern California. Also, we were just discussing during the commercial, there have been a couple records set further to the south during a little bit closer to my old stomping grounds, both in Paso Robles and San Luis Obispo. Now, Paso Robles is a little bit inland. San Luis Obispo is about 10 minutes or so from the ocean. Set an all time record today at 117 in San Luis Obispo. If you've ever been there, you, you know it gets hot, but 117 degrees is just almost unbelievable. Now, in our part of the world, it has been very hot in lots of locations. Temperatures way above average for us, especially in Chico, 108 degrees thus far today. The temperatures are still going to be awfully hot going forward, and we're going to have a lot more heat as we move through. Look at the record highs that were set today. Red Bluff, 113 degrees. That is a record. It broke a record from 1957, which was the old record of 109. Redding has had a high today of 111, also a record breaker. The the previous record was 105 in 1955, so we do not want to be breaking records like this, but we still have the potential to do that again tomorrow. More uh, fire danger also in the forecast. This from Monday night through Wednesday because of more gusty, strong wind coming out of the north, and it'll also end up being a northeasterly wind force between 35 and 50 mile an hour gusts, especially in the higher terrain and through the gaps in the mountains. We're now that red flag warning with more fire danger for us, so keep that in mind, especially on Tuesday specifically, and more heat warnings for us. The excessive heat warnings continue for the valley and foothill locations as well as some of the mountains. This lasts in most locations through Monday night. It's actually bumped up. Up the expiration day a little bit. Other places still on Tuesday evening, the potential of more temperatures upwards of 114 to 115 degrees. Now, here are the highs thus far today. It's been 108 degrees for Corning as well as in Chico. There's that record breaking 111 in Redding and record breaking 113 in Red Bluff. It was 103 degrees today in Weaverville and 102 degrees in Paradise. And the current temperatures are just about the same, haven't changed very much, mostly 90s and well into the triple digits. Now, as far as the clouds are concerned, we hardly have any around the region. We have lots of smoke that's pushing northward, but a strong ridge of high pressure is going to stay over top of us. And as we move into Monday and Tuesday, the ridge is still going to be there. However, we have that trough of low pressure sinking out of the south, pushing into the Great Basin. That's going to cause that windy weather moving our direction, which will increase our fire danger dramatically on Tuesday. So keep in mind, we're still going to have the hot weather, although it will be cooler Tuesday. It's going to be windier, which is going to make our fire danger worse. So here's your forecast for later. Labor Day Monday. It is still going to be very hot for the northern mountains, staying mainly in the 90s and lower triple digits. 103 degrees for high in Weaverville again, up to 102 degrees in Shingletown, 98 degrees for Alturas, as well as in Chester. Paradise, we don't want to see triple digits in Paradise, but it is going to be there. 102 degrees again tomorrow, 100 degrees from Megalia, and the overnight low is not cooling very well. We're going to have a low tomorrow morning of 80 degrees in Paradise, the rest of the valley mainly in the 70s. Highs just about as high as it was today, and these will be record breakers again for both Redding and Red Bluff between 110 and 112. For the Chico area, lows will not be low, between 70 and 75. Highs just about as high as today, between 108 and 110. Those are also record breaker highs for us. Next seven days in Chico, it will cool down to double digits. However, you can see Tuesday and Wednesday, the fire danger will increase with a gustier wind. Daytime highs get back to the more seasonable 90s. And for Redding, 112 degrees tomorrow. We're going to lop 10 degrees off that temperature on Tuesday, but the wind will increase and we'll be back down to the 90s beginning on Thursday. Okay, let's get through the next few days here and then it cools down just a little bit. Thank yeah. goodness. All right, Jason, thank you for that. We're coming right back.